Hi, this is Dr. Sims in Columbia, Maryland. I'm here again to talk to you about Tourette syndrome. Today, I want to focus in on the symptoms of obsessive compulsive disorder and attention deficit hyperactive disorder and why they, they occur, at least from my knowledge. The the Tourette syndrome, as we've been talking about, is an irritation of the trigeminal nerve, cranial nerve number five. And we've been talking about this for about a month or so now. And what it is, it's a constant irritation of the trigeminal nerve, specifically the auricular temporal nerve in the back of the jaw. Now, we want to talk about how this can uh, help or occur, how, how this occurs and how ADHD, ADHD and OCD occur from the irritation of this nerve. I'm going to utilize my little demonstrator her name or his name is alex alex here will show us where some of these cranial nerves occur and why it does now when you look at alex what you're looking at is the temporal mandibular joint temporal bone mandible bone and this is the joint that uh, that is between the two. And in between this nerve, behind the jaw joint and in front of the ear canal, is where the nerve comes out. That nerve is the auricular temporal nerve. I'm going to separate Alex. And Alex, as you can see, this is the brain case. This is the cerebrum or the uh, brain as we know it. This is the cerebellum. And this white area is called the midbrain or the, uh, the brain stem. This is the brain stem right here. Now, that auricular temporal nerve goes into the mandibular nerve, and the mandibular nerve has direct input into this brain stem. Now the brain stem is the area that makes you move, makes you blink, makes you walk, makes you talk, makes you do all breathing, makes your all your autonomic systems occur. Now the trigeminal nerve is the only cranial nerve that enters into this straight or directly into this brainstem. Now, the brainstem is the area, like I said, that makes you walk, talk, and have all the autonomic movements. But in the brainstem, there are neurochemicals. And the neurochemicals, and I'm going to take Alex apart a little bit more. This area right here, it looks like a little bird. That is the brainstem. The trigeminal nerve, or the nerve that we work with, the dentists work with a lot of times, goes directly into this area here. That is, there is a midline that goes right down the middle. That area it has serotonin. Now, with serotonin, serotonin is the direct modulator or it controls dopamine. When serotonin is high, dopamine is low. When, when serotonin is low, dopamine is high. Now with OCD, that when is when 
the dopamine levels are high. But what happens is the serotonin is, is low. Why would it be low? Because of a constant irritation. That means the constant irritation of that trigeminal nerve decreases the serotonin. When the serotonin goes low, the dopamine goes high. OCD is when your dopamine is high. So the direct modulator, the serotonin, from the trigeminal nerve co controls the serotonin, which is low because it is constantly being depleted. Dopamine gets high. When dopamine is high, OCD occurs. Now, the way to correct that is to reverse it. Dopamine needs to go down, which means the serotonin needs to go up, which means we take away the irritation within the trigeminal nerve, and that will make the serotonin levels go back to normal, and the dopamine levels go back down to normal. Therefore, the OCD goes down. That's how you create or get rid of or diminish the OCD. Now, the ADHD is higher up. There's an area called the locus ceruleus. The locus ceruleus controls the norepinephrine or adrenaline. When adrenaline is put into the system, you have attention hyperactive disorder. When the trigeminal nerve is the same area, when that uh, releases, it releases it into the system and your uh, attention hyperactive disorder goes up. Doing the same thing, reducing the irritation of that nerve will allow the, the uh, norepinephrine or the adrenaline to go back down. And then your adrenaline level will return to normal. Therefore, your ADHD or attention deficit hyperactive disorder goes back down to normal. That's how the Tourette syndrome uh, gets its ADHD and its, AD, uh, and, and its OCD. Now, there are other questions many people have asked and if you have other questions, uh, send them to me, and I'll try and answer them as much as possible. Thank you for listening. This is Dr. Anthony Sims. Uh, you can see a lot of my cases on ABSIMSDDS uh, at Hotmail, or you can see me on YouTube uh, at Dr. Anthony Sims, and you will see some of the cases that people have allowed me to uh, to videotape them and their symptoms decrease and or diminish greatly. Thanks again for watching. Dr. Anthony Sims signing out. Bye-bye.